Hello Game of Thrones geeks! Welcome to a brand new episode of The Word from Westeros, exclusively produced for allgeek2me.net. I am Kay Calabro, and this is my show. Today we'll be talking all about Season 5, Episode 3, Hi Sparrow. Now before I get into my save Sansa Stark plea, I will give you your water cooler recap of what happened in this episode. Marjorie Tyrell becomes queen again, and boy does she have little King Tommen wrapped around her finger. Cersei Lannister feels more and more unwelcome in King's Landing until she has a run-in with the High Sparrow and perhaps found purpose again. On the road, Brienne confides in Podrick that she still plans on avenging Renly's death by killing Stannis because when she was a little girl, Renly was able to save her and she's still haunted by the fact that she could not save Renly. Arya Stark is forced to give up Arya Stark, but thank God she did not give up Needle because I would have lost it. Jon Snow is Lord Commander and shows no mercy to any man that challenges his authority, and of course, Stannis approves. Tyrion gets a little bit of cabin fever, which leads to him being kidnapped by Lord Friendzone, and we return to Winterfell in a Sansa Stark twist that no one saw coming. Okay, so now I'd like to spend some time talking about Jon Snow and Sansa Stark. First off, for all those people that thought Jon Snow was not going to behead that dude, hello. He is Lord Commander now, he has to be a leader, and that means he's probably going to have to chop off some heads. So get over it. Um, on a side note, which is still relevant to the Jon Snow beheading thing, I got major... Season 1, Episode 1, Ned Stark beheading the deserter of the Night Watch flashbacks during that scene. I think this is the first time we really saw Jon Snow kind of like becoming Ned Stark, Warden of the North-ish. Right? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, I'm still kind of holding out hope that Jon Snow decides to join Stannis and take back the North. So, moving on to like the first real, really big season 5 twist, Sansa Stark is now engaged to Ramsay Bolton and has returned to Winterfell and no one saw this coming and it freaked the freak out of the book fans because this is not in the book, it's nowhere close to being in the book and TV fans were just like, what? And I am extremely nervous and extremely excited because I am one of those few people out there that are actually hardcore Sansa Stark fans. I think she has come so far from season one and I absolutely adore her and I will be devastated if anything awful happens to Sansa. So please, please save Sansa Stark. Um, though ideally in this situation, I would love for Sansa to use everything that she learned from her time in King's Landing and kill and poison off the Boltons and take back Winterfell in the north and just be like, ha <laughs> F you Boltons, you killed my family, now I'll kill yours. But um, <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen because I'm pretty sure that Ramsay's gonna have some awful, awful tortury kind of things planned for his new bride. Um, Though this would be the perfect time for Theon Greyjoy to finally redeem himself and save Sansa and just like kick some Bolton ass. But I don't know. And if, Re if Theon does nothing, then he is officially unredeemable in my eyes and completely dead to me. So step up, Theon. You still have some balls. So that's pretty much a wrap for this episode of The Word from Westeros. Let me know what you think of Season 5 and the Sansa Stark twist in the comments below or check me out on Twitter at Kate Calabro and make sure to use hashtag save Sansa Stark. Um, make sure to subscribe to All geek to me TV on YouTube so you never miss another episode of this show and also you're totally going to want to check out our other cool geeky content that we have up on the page. Remember, Game of Thrones airs Sundays at 9 p.m. on HBO. And until next time, 
remember, you either win or you die.